Peel in St. Catherine in downtown Montreal. The Evening News with Jamie Orchard. Hi there, thanks for joining us. Well, if you live in the West End, you have no doubt read The Suburban. But this morning, if you logged on to the Popular Weekly's website, you may have had a shock. It was hacked, apparently, by an Islamist group spouting anti-Jewish propaganda. As Ali Adam reports, police and the paper are taking the threat very seriously. Employees at the suburban newspaper woke up to some disturbing news Wednesday morning. A lot of phones have been ringing, people have been calling and telling us have we, you know, have we noticed that our website has been hacked and uh, a lot of news people have been calling. It's been much busier than it is normally. Anyone who visited their website got this message. Operation Israel has been initiated to help the Gazans currently being annihilated by the sadistic. The hackers claim their mission is to destroy the Israeli network and preserve the internet for the Palestinians facing persecution by the Israeli government. I called the police immediately. Because Editor in chief of the weekly paper, Beryl Wiseman, wasn't surprised by the threats but isn't taking any chances. We get threats all the time. It doesn't bother us. Neither do these. But that one we reported. This one looked professionally done and we reported that as well. Last September, the Suburban received this message threatening to turn the editor into soap. We're advocacy journalists here, and whenever you advocate a position, and whenever you don't engage in moral relativism and political equivalency, you're going to get pushback, and that's part of the game. Investigators spent the morning looking into the attack and where it may have come from. The radical Islamist group calls itself Lakel and Person, and has hacked multiple websites around the world. This internet security expert says tracking these types of hacks is nearly impossible. A lot of times these, these, these attackers go through what's called proxy systems, anonymizers. They could be coming in from they can be coming in from Ontario and make it look like they're coming in from Pakistan. So it's like breaking into a house and on their way out they're vacuuming out their, their footprints. He says it looks like the same kind of attack made on the Tahas Vaudreuil website in January. What we think is this is an automated tool. It goes out and scans thousands and millions of websites and it says, show me every website that has this version of code in it. And next thing you know, a list will show up. So this guy will harvest the list and go and attack all of them at the same time. Back at the Suburban, the website is back up and running normally. They say despite any threats, they don't plan on changing the way they do things. Alia Adam, Global News, Montreal.